When I was at the Whiskey Festival, I met a young man by the name of Peter Hunt. And he uh, produces a gin that's been on the market for about mm, five or six years now called uh, Victoria Gin. He also has a Victoria Oaken Gin. Uh, which is a gin that's aged in oak casks and uh, he uh, calls his company Victoria Spirits. It's a little farm out in the woods basically and it's like a little vineyard. I guess they were making wine first. And so I had a sample of his whiskey that was not quite released to the public as yet at the festival and he said that there was going to be an inaugural um, release a limited release and uh, basically there was a pamphlet with his email address and uh, he said if you send me an email message I will reserve a bottle for you from the inaugural 250 bottle release and this is the first release of this whiskey. There are only 250 bottles in existence. And for posterity, I don't know if anyone else is going to do a whiskey review on YouTube of this particular Nectar of the Gods. And uh, let me tell you, I opened it up yesterday, and it was better than I remembered it at the festival because... At a whiskey festival, you're tasting everything else that you've had tried before. So, but it, it the, the nose made an impression on me at the time. And uh, this is what it looks like. There's like an oak tree on there, and it's got the, it's called Craig Derrick whiskey. And this is, uh, it's, it's a six years old. Initially, there is some distillate, and it's distilled from a beer wort from a malted barley. And, uh, it's aged for two years in a virgin American oak cask. And then after those two years, it's mixed with fresh spirit uh, that is just freshly distilled. And that is put into a first fill ex-bourbon cask for four years. So this is a six-year-old whiskey, basically. It has a screw top, so there is no, there's no pop. There's no pop. There's a, it's a screw top. And, uh, well, here's what the bottle looks like again with the oak there. And it has a little description on the back. Uh, basically what it says, made from 100% malted barley, this classic spirit was aged in ex-bourbon casks and new American oak to bring out subtle vanilla notes and spice that pair nicely with the notes of ripe fruit handmade in Canada. And this is, yeah, a very small batch. It's one cask of this stuff. So I don't know how many casks he's got sitting uh, in his, wherever he matures it, whatever warehouse he uses. And it's got a very nice natural color to it. Uh, I'd say it's light amber, if you want to describe things like that. I'm going to put the cap back on just in case this falls off the desk it won't spill because it was a hundred dollars a bottle the nose instantly I'm getting chocolate fudge a little bit of spice I just had some work done on my teeth today so my my lip is half frozen but that, that doesn't change my sense of smell yeah, just like yesterday, there's a strong chocolate fudgy note to it. I guess along with the fudge, there's a bit of spice. And it's a little bit... There's definitely a vanilla note. Vanilla coming from the oak casks. And it's uh, very fresh. Very pleasant aromas on this one. Very, very pleasant. It is bottled at 50%, but it doesn't smell like it's bottled at 50%. It, 
it doesn't smell a strong alcohol smell. It, it's mostly fudge and chocolate that you're getting from that. Let me, let me just um, cleanse my palate a little bit here. We're ready to go. Right away, the vanilla and the chocolate. There's some spice in there. It's like nutmeg, maybe. Um, there's not much of an aftertaste. It just kind of goes down. Let's try that again. Mm. Nice and malty, chocolatey, vanilla. That vanilla note is just like a like a bourbon. It's the the the, the uh, virgin casks are definitely uh, showing a strong influence, a nice kick. It would be interesting to see how this ages further from this sixty six year old. Um, creation. It's really nice. This is going to get real good as it gets older. But it is a fine drama to begin with. I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan. Oh. It reminds me a little bit like it did the first time I tried it at the festival of the Benromic organic in that it has a very strong vanilla and oak note maybe it's got more of that chocolate than the than the Benromic organic does I think the Benromic organic has a little bit more uh, has more vanilla but this is, I mean, it's chocolate and vanilla. It's wonderful. Definitely a winner. Food quick. 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 Food quick.